Super Heist with Sidewinder. Nine tracks for 36 minutes. The fourth studio of the Australian metal band released May 2019 via Black Mountain Music. Produced by guitarist D.W. Norton, one single has been released in the riot. This album is the first to have Cy Durrant on bass since 8 Miles High in 2000. Now, this is also the first with Keir Gotcha on guitar and John Sankey on drums and also has guest appearances from London and Dana Rostvist. There you go. <coughs> so I, they, they had the um, comeback, don't call it a comeback, yeah. album a couple of years ago, Ghost of Social Dead. Uh, for me, this is a by far superior release to that one mm-hmm. um, the other album sort of felt a little bit uh, like they were hedging their bets and trying to serve a lot of different creative masters and trying to you know make everyone happy this one yeah. kind of felt like they were actually had a point to it and they went out and made an album uh, for my this band is at their best when they're sort of chugging along with sort of big riffs and grooving along and this had a lot of that but for mine the big star is uh, Zeke as I think he is with most bands that he's in. His vocal performance is fantastic. I think mm. his um, melodies were quite great on this, uh, mm. which, you know, sometimes he does, you know, a lot of the more rhythmic sort of stuff, but this one is actually good to hear him focus on hitting notes and, you know, going through and picking the right notes for the right songs, and I thought it sounded really good. Um, DW producing it sounds great, as you'd expect from that guy. Um, yeah, overall, I actually really like this. Uh, one of a kind was my highlight, and I actually gave it an eight out of ten. Cool. Uh-huh. Yeah, I was a, a super heist fan back in the day, mm. so um, this does feel different to the early the, stuff. The prize recruit was where I jumped on in a big way, and then um, eight miles high, I think it was, was mm. the, the little EP album yeah, sort of yeah, thing, yeah. and um, then they sort of did something else with a different singer, and that's it lost me at that point in time. So I hadn't heard the previous one that you mentioned before this, so. For me, it was like bridging that gap of 15 years or 10 years. Oh, that's, a big, um, that's a big jump. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Well, it, it, yes and no. Okay. Uh, I thought it started off exactly where 8 Miles High left off. Mm-hmm. The first two or three tracks were just fucking killers. That's exactly how I want to hear Super Heist. And, and I think that's that should be their wee hell, Willie House. And um, just that style, DW just knows how to do it. Yeah. Um, I agree with everything you said. I thought um, Zeke's vocals were fantastic. I think he's a good fit for the band. Yeah. I wasn't sure how that was going to work. I didn't catch any of the shows they did about a year or so ago. Um, so um, that actually does work. Production is flawless. It's fucking great. Um, but after the third song, it starts to lose me. They start to bring in... Well, it starts to go down to electronic and dance path almost. Mm. Like, there's some songs where it's just, there's no, there's no real instrument at all, I don't think. Like, it's just fucking around with computer shit, you yeah. know? Uh, and that just loses me every time. Yeah. Um, it, it's one thing to incorporate some of that in your sound, and, you know, let's face it, industrial is based around that and just makes it dirtier, you know, what a elements you know yeah, um, simplifying it yeah, <clears throat> yeah. Um, but yeah they just there's some songs that just don't work mm. um, I gave it a, a 6 out of 10 it, it did lose me the first three tracks like I said are flawless um, production is great <laughs> would have been happy if I could just buy that as a single because mm. I like hard copies I'd buy those first three tracks yeah. without but I'm not going to buy it as an, an EP or anything like that. I, just, yeah. I didn't like it that much. That's mm-hmm. how much it rubbed me the wrong way. Um, the Riot, Overlord and Crush the Crisis, with the, yep. which were, I think, the first three songs. Yeah. So the rest of it, yeah, for me, was forgettable. And, yeah, yeah, they are the first three songs, so there you go. <laughs> yeah. Um, now, this album, for me, is a bit of a mixed bag. Um, goes in a few <coughs> different directions. And... Prior to listening to this one, I did go back and listen to what is available on the streaming platforms because I'm not the big super high devotee. So I'm not, I knew of them when they were big in Melbourne and stuff, and that was going back a fair way now. So I knew them then and I knew the clips that everyone saw and stuff, but then I didn't really, they didn't really grab me then, and this album hasn't grabbed me today. Overall, it's still firmly rooted in the new metal side of things for this. The production heavily accents that, which for me is fine. It's got a big and loud bottom end on it heavy tones overall and for all the sort of heavy hitting this album is pretty well balanced in production it was very well done the push and pull of the vocals and where they sit in particular was really well executed 
the top end and the guitar tone was really nice and, and fleshed out the, the bottom end frequencies of this really well. Not over compressed, it's big, powerful, pretty well balanced, like I said, lyrically loaded. Fuck me, plenty going on in that regard. The lyrics across the board, and there's certainly something to say. Ezekiel Ox never is short of something to say, that's, that's a clear thing, which is a good thing. I like that in a record, I like the statement side of it, that was very cool. My struggles with this, sorry, before I get to that, the vocals, like as we mentioned, like his vocal, when he's hitting notes, fuck, that was good. Like, oh, there yeah. was some great hooks in this, it was, and, um, and some vocal melodies. Riot. That, yeah. that chorus he like hook line in there yeah the fucking amazing so there was some really good high moments on this record where I struggled was on the taste side for me when they start to introduce um, the rap elements when it clicks for me it's really good but there are other parts where they went too far down the garden path and that one for me and it lost me because there were some elements where it was in the songs and work and there were other parts where it felt like things were being jammed together too much and it didn't click for me there's some really nice swing and grooves, some good hooks on it as well. But all of that said, it does try to be too many things at too many times in a cohesive one listen record for mine. Uh, like I said, some very good highs, some pretty ordinary lows. And the track Shockwave feels like a poor man's rip off of the Mortal Kombat soundtrack. If you're familiar with yeah, that, oh, fuck. that, that, <coughs> I'd like to play it to you. Because mm. it's if you hear that song and you hear the main title for Mortal Kombat, you're going to hear exactly what I'm talking about. That's not an original piece there. Um, Breathe feels out of place, as does So We and So yeah. We Burn. They didn't fit for me. Mm. Like one of a kind is the different track though, because that blends all the different elements really nice. And even has like a bit of a Fear Factory touch in in a moment of it, which is cool. So it's it's this weird blend of the alternative new metal kind of thing blick, blended in with pop and rap, and it didn't hold me the way I, I wanted to really really love it and I love certain parts of it but not enough for the whole thing yeah when it's on it's on when it's not it's not and it's not enough there for me yeah there's too much gap yeah I gave it a six and a half out of ten I picked Overlord God Knows and The Riot so check it out for yourselves and let us know what you think Thank you for taking the time to watch this video. Make sure you leave your thoughts in the comments below and also give us a thumbs up or subscribe or follow any of our social media channels to stay up to date with what's going on next. Uh, I want to say a very quick thank you to our sponsors, Alt Cult, Rockstar Finance, Hyde Rehearsal Studios and Squidding Screen Printing. Thank you all so much for your support and we will see you in the next video. Cute. <clears throat> yeah, I do wonder about the decision to keep the name. <clears throat> Keep the name super high. Mm. I think it was more. Um, it's no one. Like, I know. That I, I get trying. that. Yeah, but that's all it is. I understand that angle, but the music side of it combined yeah. with everything else is like. Mm. The thing is, though, you listen to those like super high albums. They are a bit <clears throat> not as diverse as that. They're not as diverse they're as that. They're still guitar driven. They that's bit, what kept me going. But they mental. are a bit all over the place. Mm. Yeah, so I'm but not the biggest. Kind of I still reckon band. Prize Recruit and Eight Mile are still more on the rock of yeah. that new metal. They're doing, you know, they're still guitar driven. These yeah. some of these songs were just such a departure, yeah. and, and it never got, got out of that gear. It was, it was almost like, okay, you've got an idea, and then this idea finished. It's like, what else? The, what was the dynamic of that? Yeah. You know, like there were certain parts where, like the the electronic beatbox type thing, would just come in and then go, and it's like, yeah. Okay, that didn't really serve the song that much for mine. I, I think the biggest problem with new metal is trying to... If you take a break, you still got to come back as new metal. Like, there has to be something new to it. Like, there has to be some kind of now element to rather than just whatever your style is, just do that, and that's still classified as yeah, new but, metal. Yeah, you one know, one like, of the things with new metal is it does try to serve <coughs> the area. Yeah. And... You know, that can be a good thing, but it can also be a bad really thing. bad thing. But when this album was on, fuck, there was some yeah. great moments. And Those first three fuck. songs are fucking on. Like, cool. oh, this is great. Then the second half of it, it just... And that's the thing. Ooh. If you took his band, you know, from when they reformed mm. and just put the 10 <coughs> best tracks they released, it'd be a great album. But yeah. 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 Interesting one. Interesting one. <coughs>